All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of lovely people with lovely accents. It's really nice. It is fun. Oh, hi, Paige. I assume you're playing D and D. Hello, Flaming Jack. It is. It's such a good accent. It really is. Nini. Iwasabi has his lovely Australian accent. Yeah, I have unaccented American. It's really boring. Very boring. Geist Alice. Ooh, what a cool name. Geists are scary. Perfect for the season, though. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, I wish I could do a French accent. Yeah, but American is a boring accent. I think. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, but... I mean, maybe... Effin Blue. Thank you. Very sweet. Yeah, I used to have a somewhat strong southern accent when I was younger. But thankfully, I grew up and moved to DC and lost that very quickly. That's fair. There's American and American. <laughs> Hi, Sister Knight. All right. I honestly don't remember what we were doing last time. I feel like it's been forever. Really, the Southern accent gets perceived as unintelligent here a lot. Um, typically because a lot of the people that have very strong accents tend to not be on the coasts and therefore not have the benefit of as much socialization, as much cultural exposure, and as much education. So, <laughs> Ace sure. Thank you for the follow. I hope I didn't butcher that. Oh, I would love to be able to tell the difference between Japanese accents within that dialect. It's so cool. Oh, I'm happy to spend time with Reginald. There, there is a priority I can get behind. Oh, thank you, Lucas. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I did remember Jack. Um, we've got about 10 days, Kalina. So what is that? I mean, that's, that's 10 hours. So it's a substantial difference, but there's so much content on Twitch that I can't ever catch us up unless I like stop streaming for a while. Um, and, and sometimes like I can't make streams. No, 10 days of difference between, um, I guess I should say that differently. Um, there's about 10 hours difference because um, I publish one hour content for Mass Effect per day. So 10 hours difference. I do my southern draw occasionally. It's my eyes that get me. I'll say ass cream occasionally, and then I just like ugh, freak out. A codex entry already. You guys are already on the ball. Oh my god, I would love. No, 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 no worries, Navy brat. No need to. No need to apologize ever. It was a, it was an insightful question. You didn't know what I was talking about, so I clarified, and, and that was good. That lets me know that maybe other people didn't understand me. You, you did us all a favor. Don't apologize. You're good to go. Um. <laughs> Val may be from the future. Uh, he does very well at Among Us. There might be some correlation there. <laughs> I always am super wary of Val, because I think you've killed me like three times now, Val. <laughs> Hello, Flower Petal. I hope you're doing better today. Okay, okay. I didn't actually see AOC live streaming, but I'm so fucking glad that she was. That's fucking amazing. Okay. Joe, Woody, hit me up. What's your question? Valisize. <laughs> How sus is Merlin on a scale of 1 to 69? Well, you gave me 69, so it's got to be 69. Hey. All right. <laughs> now that we have that out of the first system. <laughs> Let's do the codex entry really quick because I don't want to accidentally forget it when we go and do other things. I mean, if, if I can choose 69, it's going to be 69. I don't care what it is. 
All right. Also, the baby's asleep in my lap, so there's that. He's very warm, and I appreciate it. It's gotten down into... Hmm, 50s for Fahrenheit? Let me look. Ooh, Benta, what flavor? Oh, it's 41 here. Excuse me, it's far colder than I thought. Cyberpunk is delayed. It's delayed until December 10th, but they're working very diligently on it. They're trying not to exhaust themselves, and we want to support that. Oh, <gasps> Val! Oh my god, what a fucking brilliant idea. And I got you, Wasabi. I want, uh, I, I, I am... Oh no, I'm running out of these because they're my favorite and I always pick them. Oh yeah, video games, girl. It's a delight to have you. Thank you for the follow. I, I'm always super jazzed when, when other ladies join. Oh, uh, thank you, Rook. I didn't know that that was one we hadn't caught yet. I appreciate it. Big round of applause for the mods because they're amazing. I bet it is chilly as fuck in England. Holy shit. Good idea, guys. Good job. Mm, if we could make a custom Normandy 2 map, and then, like, your little Among Us costumes are all the characters, Val, that was a phenomenal idea. Exactly. Prometheus, you were exactly correct. Especially um, because everyone's mental health is, you know, taking a hit because of the pandemic. Let me drain this tea really quick. Ooh, thank you, Christina. I appreciate that one as well. I don't know if everyone else can see those, but my moms are doing a wonderful job banning unkind terms at the moment, which I really appreciate because here in this community, we stand kindness and empathy. Oh, so good. What? Ooh, oh, I updated the Twitch stream um, schedule for the week. So we have clearly Mass Effect tonight. Um, Thursday night, more Mass Effect. Friday night, Friday is my birthday. So come hang out. We're going to play Among Us together and just like have a good time because I can't go and fucking do any of the things that I wanted to for my birthday. Because America has handled this pandemic like garbage. So <laughs> come play video games with me. That's what we're doing for my birthday. And I have a special surprise. It's probably more of a surprise for me and I'm just excited about it than it is a surprise for anyone else. And that's okay, because it's my birthday. Um, and then Sunday, no, excuse me, Saturday is Halloween. So as you guys wanted, um, I don't know, Solon, I'm really enjoying Phasmophobia. That's what we're gonna play on Saturday because it's Halloween, we gotta play horror themed and I am going to be in a Halloween costume voted on by you guys. It's going to be Pirate Morrigan. You know, super cheesy. I bought it from Spirit Halloween when I was in college. Like, we're gonna put a big old cosplay bra on and be like super, super like cliche college student Halloween costume. We're gonna do it. All right, what time on Friday? Um, I'm kind of chill with whatever. If you guys want to do it earlier in the day, I'm fine with that. Um, otherwise, I just had it at our normal time. So at 7.30, from like 7.30 to 9.30, but we can do it earlier if you guys want. Is that gonna be easier for people or do, should we keep the time? I'm honestly game for whatever. Jesse Ward, thank you for the follow. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, we can't kill Tina or Aaron anymore. Y'all didn't even let Aaron play last time. Jesus. That's fair. You know, I was going to do an eye patch, and then I realized that I wouldn't be able to see, like, half of my screen. And I was like, well, if we're playing video games, it's probably a bad idea to have an eye patch. <laughs> no, Aaron, you're totally fine. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Justice or Tina. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, just infinity. I just read that as hey girl, hey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you did, Val. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dan. Okay, yeah. Okay. Thank you for reminding me that we're actually doing codex entries. Um, if you guys hello. As Mira, yes, do it. 
do it. Oh, speaking of Dragon Age Inquisition, I was really pissed today because I recorded like an hour's worth of content to cut up between two episodes to save me some time because I got to finish some cosplays this week. And uh, my mic's gain was turned all the way down, so you, I, it misses like every other word, and I was devastated. Also, Architect, that was a really good joke. I appreciate you. <sighs> so, we'll have to... Yeah, I, I fucking hate when that happens. And of course, like, I should have had a sound check, but I was like, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. And I'm mad now. But, okay. Codex entries, we've got two codex entries. Ah, okay, thank you, Flower Petal. I love it when you guys let me know the discrepancies because like, I would have no idea if you didn't tell me. So now I know who you are in the Discord. But yeah, if you guys have strong opinions on when we should have Friday stream, just let me know in the Discord. All right, purgatory. Aw, oh, Sister Nye, thank you. All right, closing the chat so I can read. Originally an ark ship designed to carry agricultural animals. The purgatory was taken by the Blue Suns. If you guys remember, that's the, like, GL ship. It was taken by the Blue Suns Mercenary Company during a large-scale battle in the Skillian Verge. In a years-long reconstruction of its interior, the Blue Suns repurposed it to hold sapient prisoners, supposedly because they captured so many in their conflicts throughout the galaxy. When the media outlet started investigating claims that the ship was used for slaving operations, the Blue Suns turned a public relations nightmare into a regular income source. <sighs> Claiming to be in full accordance with Citadel law, the crew of Purgatory now regularly lands on planets or space stations claiming that they can no longer hold their prisoners because of costs overrun. To avoid keeping prisoners under inhumane conditions, they will have to release them at the nearest port, dumping the scum of the galaxy directly into the local population. Faced with such a scenario, the government usually grants Purgatory's crew massive discounts in fuel, food, and repairs as long as they go away. Some even offload their own prisoners to Purgatory for a fee, grateful to have a problem relocated somewhere other than their backyard. Such unfortunates go in the dark depths of the ship, never to be seen again by their families or contacts. Purgatory is minimally armed with guardian defenses. Although a cruiserweight ship, it relies on the Blue Sun's fighters to prevent any attacks bent on a jailbreak or similar events. Also, Frijoles, yeah? Yeah? Did I do that right? Thank you for the sub. I like how you guys, I like, I like do all the varied ones. We'll have to start doing more finger hearts. <laughs> oh man yeah well, let's not get started on the private prison system <laughs> we're gonna be here all day all right what else did we have that was new here frigates raccoon gamer fin are you a raccoon who games i'd be super fucking jazzed about that wait it was frigates right I think I accidentally scrolled too far. All right, let me get some tea and we'll read on. Wouldn't that be the cutest if we could have a raccoon mascot too? <laughs> Luke and Lachance, yeah? I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep it off of strong opinions, uh, a stream. We will get there if we need to, but like, yeah, I tried not to talk about that the whole time that we were on Purgatory. <laughs> No, and there was such a good opportunity in Dragon Age today. I'm going to have to do it all over again at some point in the future because my footage was garbage. But it was definitely... <gasps> Mother Giselle resumed herself a little bit. There was a conversation and she was willing to admit how um, not great and flawed and subject to fallacy the chant could be sometimes given human error because it gets misinterpreted and misperpetuated and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm really proud of you for that. And then Dorian was confronted with evidence that Tevinter was a shit country. And um, he, he doesn't get all nationalist about it. He actually was like, wow, I should reevaluate my opinions about my country and realize that I've been indoctrinated and subject to propaganda. And instead of being combative and defensive, I'm going to re-examine my perspective in light of this new evidence. And I was like, oh, I, 
I love you. <laughs> My canon romance is soulless, of course. I would definitely, um, I'd probably be a social justice bard, right? So I think he knew that Tevinter was shit, but it's another thing realizing that a lot of the things that you've been fed as a child were intentional lies. Like, they didn't want to be responsible for, like, the Black City business and Corypheus and, like, in that sort of jazz and, you know, killing Andraste. <laughs> but it is what it is. TLDR, that shit's going to be good when I finally re-record it again. Rip. Rip my stupid microphone. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Back to our codexes. Oh, thank you. It's actually like completely mesh. I love it to pieces and it's got some really, I, I know you can't see it because my mic's in the way. Let me see if I can. It's hard because I, I, I'm i terrified of making the mistake that I made earlier. It's got like rose applique on it. It's very cool. I love it. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna minimize chat so we can read real quick. Also. Tay Te Rio? Yeah? Yeah? Thank you for the follow. It is gonna take a while to get through these codice entries because I won't shut the fuck up. So let me do that so we can read. Frigates are light escorts and scouts, often possessing extensive guardian systems providing anti-fighter screening for capital ships, and crewed with a squad of marines for security and groundside duty. Unlike larger vessels, frigates can land on planets. The most important role filled by frigates is reconnaissance. I think, isn't the Normandy a frigate? Sensors, unlike ships and communications employing the Mass Effect, are limited to the speed of light. Therefore, a stationary observer can detect a vessel a light year away only when its light arrives a year later. That hurts my brain. Because faster than light attackers always arrive before defenders can detect them with luminal sensors, attackers can always surprise defenders. For defense, fleets surrounding themselves with the spheres of scouting, frigates scanning for enemy ships, and transmitting warnings to the main body. Frigates achieve faster-than-light cruise speeds because of their high-performance drives. They also have proportionally larger thrusters and lighter design mass, allowing them greater maneuverability. In combat, speed and maneuverability make frigates immune to long-range fire of larger vessels. I heard the dingle, but I can't see chat yet, so give me a second. In fleet combat, frigates are organized into wolf pack flotillas of four to six. Wolf pack speed through enemy formations, hunting enemy vessels whose kinetic barriers have been taken down by fighter launched disruptor torpedoes. Wolf packs circle strafe vulnerable targets using a superior speed and maneuverability to evade return fire. Alliance frigates are named for great battles in human history. All right. Oh, Rook, was that you? Thank you. All right, so it is a frigate. Good. Okay. Although the Normandy isn't, is, is, is there a battle of Normandy? I'm just thinking about the country. Oh no, <laughs> sweet honesty. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. All right. Oh, interesting. Aw, oh, Chaos, thanks for hanging out and dropping by. Oh, it's also reaching to France. I didn't know that. Cool. All right, so we definitely, as much as I don't want to, we definitely have some like housekeeping to do. Um, At some point we really should, <laughs> scan planets. I know it's nobody's favorite thing, but I know, I know. It's kind of our mood for the year, huh, Tedmans? Well, so many things we wanted to do and... Okay, not attacking to you. This is where I don't want to be. All right. Yeah, feel free to ship post. Feel free to hang out, chat. We're gonna go talk to um, Jack first. So, no, Jacob's not in top shape. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. <laughs> wow. I mean, like, she's probably been through a lot. I, 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 I have to think that there's a reason for this, right? I assume everything's going well up here. Shh, 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 shh. Joker. I can tell when it's listening. <laughs> I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. Oh, I love them so much. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. So I always pick the wrong one. No, I think we're supposed to do how are things in the cockpit. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. I know we've heard that one, so I'm gonna try it one more time. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured okay. my thumb on so the mute. Okay, so that's the one we know we don't have point. any more chat dialogue. Yeah, we can try the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Ah, uh, this is the one. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus guy. <gasps> no surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. I love it's that one, though. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I love him very much. It's like your favorite family, That's right? But now. the family that you See choose you, instead of the one you get stuck with. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we should go and check. Oh, Tyler. We should go and check our emails. And then we're going to go check on Reginald. Oh, I've already played Inquisition. Uh, but I played Inquisition first. Like, out of the entire series. I didn't know there were two Dragon Aids that preceded it. And so, um... I'm replaying Inquisition after having played the previous two games. And so now I get to catch all of the Easter eggs and references and callbacks to the previous two games. And it's wow -y, wow, wow. It really makes so much more sense. And it's, it's a lovely experience. I'm really, really enjoying it. So you're not spoiling anything for me, really. Um, but yes, I love Cole. Cole's one of my favorite characters, maybe second favorite character, second to Solus. Do we have any unread messages? We do! Okay, okay. No, I'm not gonna go talk to Jacob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Solus romance is best romance. Okay, I'm gonna close chat so I can read. From Talitha. Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. Oh my god. I had a gun and you stopped me from hurting myself. My doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he could get a message to you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I am getting better. They put me in a special school and they say I'm doing good. The doctors say that other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them like you helped me. Holy shit. I'm so glad that, like, ooh, we're getting these kind of references and callbacks and Easter eggs from the first game. I love it. Consort Shira. Commander, I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion. But my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested. But now I fear you cannot rely only on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Be well, Consort Shira. Who is this? Chloe Michelle. Oh, she was the doctor at the Citadel when it was Mass Effect 1 Citadel. Dear Commander Shepard, I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear of the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I feared I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if Perhaps he might have ended up with you. 
I left a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail. And I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore, because he hasn't returned my calls. Always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions, that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. Thanks, Chloe Michelle. Wait, wait. Does she have a thing for Garrus? I was about to say, she sounds she sounds pretty interested. If he hasn't returned your calls, um, friend, I uh I, I wouldn't go pressing that. Alright. You know, sometimes I know that there's a lot of conjecture about it. Sometimes all you can do is ghost. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. No, I check those. Yes, I have all the DLC. Alright. Oh, did I not mark his red? Fuck. When we get down there, there are more important things to do at the moment. Ooh. Hello, little baby. Oh, look at Rachel. Oh, he's so cute. We have to be blessed by Reginald at the beginning of every stream. Yeah, yeah. Reginald emotes in the chat. <laughs> oh, there is a computer in my room, isn't there? Handy. I keep forgetting I have to mark these as red. Boop, boop. Done. Yeah, it's a reference to Minsk and Boo. Oh, we are. Uh, again, I'm um, narratively speaking, we should already have like been able to go and say hello, check on her, whatever. All right. Mm, that's right. Oh, look at all our ships. Oh, this must be the Ascension. And I think we have the previous Normandy up here too, right? Yeah, cool. That's That has to be like what's going on, like realistically. Ooh, Cheetos sound so fucking good. I love Cheetos. Damn, our beat up helmet. Look how like demolished it is. Ooh, saved our face though. All right. We said hello to Reginald. Now, we'll go back. Because there's, uh, yeah, let's talk to Morden. Hello, King Arthur. Ooh, that's such a cool play on words. Oh, nice. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah, it really has. So I'm like, I'm super excited. It's really awesome. All right, tea time. And let's go and find Morden. I love him very much. All right. Oh, we should also do these things. Right, isn't it great? It looks so comfy. <laughs> right, Jen, all right, I'll drink the tea. Oh, no, it gets weak. Oh, no, maybe he's, oh, he has a blip. I wish I could show you guys. He's got a nice, solid blip. He is a cute baby. All right. No, we haven't talked to Jack yet. We're just making our way downtown. Walking fast, face pass, and we're homebound. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? Excuse me, what? Um, I like hot cocoa. I don't have it very often because it's just very sugary. I don't have anything against it, though. Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got oh. up Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? 
Wait, Varen or the salamander puppies? All right, I don't think maybe squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Oh, I was hoping he might have something to say about Jack, because I'm not I'm not sure how healthy she is. I certainly wouldn't be very healthy being uh, locked up like that for so long. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. All right. So now. I don't know if I have enough yet. Excuse me. This is the one I want. Shepherd, baby, please. Um, or maybe this isn't the one I want. I want the other one. I need to click review. Okay, I just like, I just don't have nearly enough stuff. So I'll probably need to farm a little bit for it. Hello, PC Rover. Sorry, research terminal sounded like that would be the part where you like learn about it and I just had them mixed up. We really need to do some planet scanning and I'm not necessarily about it. Oh man. I can't afford any of this. God, I'm gonna need so much shit. Cocoa without sugar would just be cocoa powder or... You know, I thought about doing it off camera, but like, why do that when I can just sit here and chat with you guys while I do it? Not to mention if something happens off screen, like that's just like, exactly. Stuff is going to occur. Oh, if it's green, I have enough? Oh, I've been looking at it backwards. <sighs> Y'all, I have a professional degree. <laughs> God damn it. All right. So which one do we want to buy first though? Do we want to buy, I feel like this. So if I click research, that means he's gonna go ahead and invest in it, right? Scan in the soul system. I don't want to do any of the side missions yet because I know there's the mechanic that's like, Hey, if you do more missions, it's going to like progress the story and shit might happen. And I don't know a whole lot about that. Please be very mindful of of uh, of spoilers. But I know that there's something we need to like figure out about that shit. Yeah, no, 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 no. And I appreciate that stuff. Like, hey, this is very necessary for the game. Can't tell you why, but it would very much behoove you to do it. That shit's fine. Okay, yeah, I was worried about the side quests that may or may not pop up, and I don't want them to automatically, like, jettison you into them. Yeah. That's that's my main concern, is I don't want to fuck us up. Yeah. Okay, so... Can we do this one? Is this a good one to do? The Omnitool? Okay, gonna research it. Thank you. So let me go through them again. We need the ship enhancements, I know. We don't have any of this yet. So that one needs iridium. We should really not spend iridium yet unless we can help it because that's gonna like clearly help us in the long run. So I don't need the medbay upgrade, not really because my face is fine. Hmm, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good, Atticus. Thank you for that clarification. That really helps me. So shotgun damage, the machine gun. I would really like the one that I use, the pistol. I do use the submachine gun as well, but we can't use any iridium. No iridium. So the only one we could do is a shotgun and I don't use it, so I care less about it. Yeah, I'm definitely like checking everything out, see what I can do, what I can't do. Damage protection. I don't really need med gel. Palladium. We have palladium we could spend. 
I do use a submachine gun, but it uses iridium, and I want to try to save up my iridium so I can spend that in one lump sum on the mining upgrade because that's going to make our our life a lot easier. Oh, prototypes are character specific. Ah. <laughs> I like Morden and I plan on taking him on everything, so that's a good... Yeah, I am going to save up for my ship enhancement, so I don't want to do anything too wild. We already have two of these. So let's just do some mining and see how much we get out of it, and that's going to let me make better judgment calls. Okay, just one more time. I need 15 for that, so I'm lacking about 4,000. Ship armor and the cannon. Platinum, palladium, and iridium. Okay, good, because these two use platinum, and I don't need the medbay upgrade, so. Let's see. I'm going to write that down, just so it's going to be easiest for me. So we need, generally speaking, 400 iridium. We need... Ooh, hey, hey. Approximately 500 palladium. And approximately 600 platinum. Wait, no, I need more than that. No, that's right. 600 platinum. Yeah. Who am I romancing? I am romancing Liara. Carried over from my first one. Rocky planets have the most resources. Ooh, that's helpful. Yes, yeah, Shep's over there making her shopping list very cute. Ooh. All right. So we've got our grocery list, ladies and gentlemen. So let's finish talking to our friends. Oh, that was fast. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry about your iguana, Doc Dark. That's rough. I hope your fiance's doing okay. It's hard to to lose a companion that you've had for so long. Morn didn't really have anything to say, unfortunately. I wish he did. I really like him. Okay, so. Miranda Garris, Kasumi, and then... <laughs> oh. Oh. It's just hard, though, because you're so used to having them in your life, right? All right. Let's trigger this. Just to make sure we keep up with the dialogue. Or maybe not. I did get all the dossiers, right? No, I'm missing one. Oh, here. Mm, we got to do that. Where is this guy? Oh, he's our Krogan boy. All right. Yeah, we got to get all of our, our dudes before. So we'll do some planet scanning and we'll go get Okir. Dr. Okir, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. We will absolutely talk to, to Gabby and her buddy boy when we get down there in engineering. I, I try to make... Oh, and that's a men's restroom. I try to make sure we talk to everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that drink is still sitting there. Both drinks. Oh, does she have, like, a preference or something? Can we bring one to her? We've talked about all of these things, so let's just chat with her. Hey, got a minute? Of course I do. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Oh my goodness. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay, have a good time. Your space window is very nice. All right. So... Miranda has her side office. We can go check in on Chakwas, too. How are you doing, Space Mom? Commander, 
I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. No! Brandy goes straight to my head. Aw, Xenos. Thank you. You weren't unprofessional at all, Space Mom. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. Mm -hmm. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. I don't necessarily want revenge. I mean, I definitely want to solve the issue, but revenge isn't the reason why. And, and I definitely want to talk to her about it, so... Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Oh, love you, Space Mom. She's so sweet and wholesome. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less <laughs> ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Oh. Normally I'd be like, lol, they're just teasing, but the man literally also is the janitor. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Oh, okay. Is there any... Nope. Nothing. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right. On to Garrus, then. Do you have anything for me? How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. All right, that's everything for that guy, too. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Beaked Justin. I like it. It reminds me of that villain from My Hero Academia. What is his name? Overload? Is that what it is? I don't remember. The guy with the beak mask. You know what I'm talking about. It is time for calibrations. Overhaul. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Shepard, need me for something? Let me talk to you. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Hmm. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. <sighs> All right, two clinics entries. Let me get finished talking to our people and then we'll do that. No, Tedmans, no. <laughs> oh no, sorry, it doesn't like punctuation for some reason all right so that's everybody on this deck right it should be yes all right all right all right all right let's go down engineering <laughs> oh we have not talked to jack yet at all so this is going to be really interesting I mean, the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Oh, Everyone's shit. gone. Shit. We are going to make those dirty buggers pay. Oh, he's got such a good accent, but literally. What can we do for you, Commander? Oh, um, we don't have anything new, but. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Oh, I was clearly trying to what talk can to we her. Do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. They do love a fight, Anne. <laughs> All right. I don't think. No, it's just the the ball boy over here. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Did we go? Where is she on the ship? Let's try the other cargo. It will never be done. Not if Joe Witty has anything to say about it. Oh, here we are. This mission takes me back. Which one? You, you have to elaborate more than that. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. 
Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Let's not talk about our fellow crewmates like that, or actually women in general, let's just not. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives them mad. <sighs> I should let you go. Talk more later, shall we? Barbados. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Oops, nope. This one, downstairs. You know, there is a handy dandy garbage compactor right next to him. <laughs> Shepard, please. You know, but it's like at what point you like you do that to keep it from hurting you, right? It's just, ugh. All right, sweetie. Let's chat. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Of course, that was our arrangement. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. Yeah. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I don't know what's happened to her, so I can't really... I can't really make a judgment call on whether or not she should be what she's doing. Should be doing what she's doing. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. Okay, so if I click the one on the left, I should still be able to click the one on the right after this chat option, correct? Okay. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. I'm kind of intrigued. I mean, the mission is important, but yeah, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm tempted to do the middle one, but I'm worried about not accumulating Paragon. Oh my god, if we stole Zaid's rifle. Oh my god, is she the Sarah of this crew? Oh no. I'm not sure I like the implications of that analogy. <laughs> We could be pirates. <laughs> it's all the rage on TikTok right now. <gasps> Wait, she's not bi? How can she look like that and not be bi? <sighs> all right. Oh, I'm serious. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> all right, all right. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. 
When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. The what I meant by that is that she's like she's got a strong like goth edgigo vibe and it's attractive. That's all. Not that we should place uh stereotypes in a bottle, I guess. It was just more of what appeals to me personally. Hello. Hmm. Oh, tea time. I don't know if I want to click this one. I guess it's dialogue and can't really hurt, but. I know that, uh. Bioware pulled back a lot of their romance options, specifically LGBTQ ones, so. I don't know if either of them fall. I know that Miranda did actually fall into that category, didn't she? All right. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim I mean, it's not terribly unreasonable, especially if she's killing people that are specifically those looking for her. I should go. Yep. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, all right, all right. So we've got everybody, and that's everybody. Oh. So we need to go get Dr. O'Kir. Oops, wrong way. Oh, Santa's off. Thank you. <laughs> PC rumor, is that a thing? Oh, I do have more dialogue with Jack? Okay. God, I don't want to talk to Kelly. I don't need that in my life. Boop boop. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. Okay, we'll do these. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Why is everyone insisting on being shitty about their teammates, y'all? Come on. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. All right. All right picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Oh, cool. Is that under prototypes? Ooh. We've got the money for it. I didn't need any more Element Zero stuff today. Oh, maybe we should take her with us. We go pick up whatever his name is. Oh, here. Uh, why not? I like why I don't have to do that at the travel. All right. Yeah, biotic kiddos. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I always go the wrong way. All right. So we need to scan planets. And go get Okir. Ooh, Tyler, which one? Let me know if you want me to go over the flavors again.
Red box it is. All right. Hmm. So we gotta scan. Can I just like go to all the planets and scan them? Which one, Ritual Volcano? No worries, Pineapple. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Chocolate banana one's pretty good, though. Oh my goodness, Commander Cody, which one? Solon, what's your question? waiting for the type of Pocky and then I can <laughs> Commander Cody if you want to redeem one for him you can what is my take on the trolley problem delineate that for me Like, TLDR. Yeah, I was waiting. Oh, it was Cody who did the bento. Sorry. It gets pushed up so fast. Normally, I can see it. <laughs> All right, sorry. A trolley is heading for five people. You're at a switch. If you switch, you only hit one person. What's the ethical thing to do? Mm. Mm. So it's difficult, right? Because if you didn't touch it, you can't really... Imp well, I guess you could be implicated depending on what state... Okay, not going to lawyer this. Um, hmm. It's hard for me not to lawyer this because if you pull the switch, you're going to be responsible for that person's life. Like, minimum manslaughter. Because you entered into the... I guess... Yeah, and, and action is, is a choice. It's, it's very difficult. Uh, it's, it's hard to divorce the legality of it for me. I've spent four years... Yes, I have an extra year of law school because I transferred. Four years doing this shit. Um, morally? I mean, clearly, if it in any situation I'm going to like save the many in favor of the one but you know that's also really subject to change if it was five randos I've never met and Marlin you best believe that that's not how I'm gonna make the call right it's it's difficult and very subjective I'm sorry I can't give a clear answer like in, in law the favorite response to things like that is it depends right Exactly. This surprised me. I thought I was having like a, a different one and I forgot it was a banana and I was like, whoa. I don't know where cheese is. Okay, let's center orbit. All right, hey, hey, a large rock planet was the thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon abundant in both copper and platinum the crest has been scanned by mining bots from Aaron Lay but the specialized equipment to work in its heavy gravity has created prohibitive costs ooh largely uh, ooh that may mean there's good shit here isn't there like a whole game based on the trolley system and like pushing your buttons and doing all sorts of different analogies and scenarios and oh yeah the human stranger or save my pet one i would save my pet i've actually had people be really like ugly to me on the internet before because like like on facebook like an acquaintance of one of my friends 
it was on her post and she was talking about something and like we were discussing saving our pets and how we would go back in in a fire to save our pets and somebody got really upset see you later moker have a good rest of your night uh, somebody got really upset because they're like well my husband died because he went in to try to get our animal whatever and i was like lady you need to calm down and deal with your grief i mean clearly i didn't say that to her in in that way but we, we didn't continue the conversation because clearly this person was very affected they weren't being reasonable or logical they were upset about their husband and understandably so but like i can admire the effort that he took and that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna go save my pet <laughs> It's just like, it's just weird when we like, cause we can have a discussion of it and I don't bitch at somebody else for doing something that I wouldn't or vice versa. Within reason, within reason. <laughs>